tired of applying to the job post and not getting that interview call? Don't worry, I have got you covered. In this video, I'm going to share five common mistakes which people make because of which they do not get that interview call. And I can also bet that you are making at least three of these mistakes. In the end, I'm also going to share a bonus tip which will improve your chances of getting that interview call. So watch this video till the end and make your job seeking journey more fulfilling. I'm Atulia Nair, a human capital consultant by profession who loves to create videos on career growth and personality development during her free time. If such sort of content excites you, definitely subscribe to this channel. Come along and join this community of like-minded people where we motivate each other to become the best version of themselves. Are you one of those who has been constantly applying for jobs, waiting for the calls and finally getting that rejection emails? No worries. This video is going to sort it out all for you. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Mistake number one is you are not applying to the right job. This could be in terms of your work experience. That is, the job might require five years of work ex in that specific technology, whereas you have only one year of work ex. Second could be your skills and your qualifications are not in line with the employer's expectation. Or maybe even if you have the skill, you haven't displayed it well, or your work experience doesn't show that you have that skill because of which the employer or the recruiter feels that you might not be the right candidate. Check out this video to see how you can sell your work experience and how you should be writing that in your resume. Third thing would be the inconsistency in your work experience. If you have done different types of projects, different types of summer internships in different fields, it's always best to write what is relevant to that particular job. Fourth thing is the country or the location requirements. Sometimes you might not be getting calls because you might not be having the work permit to work for that specific country. For example, if you're sitting in India and applying for a job based out of UK or US, you might not get that call because of the work permit. Not all companies are willing to sponsor your work visa. So what can you do about this? The solution is, the simplest solution is to stop applying to every job like a headless chicken. See what you're good at. See what are your qualifications? What are your skills? What's the requirement for the position? And selectively apply. Applying for a lot of jobs and those continuous rejection emails is going to lower your confidence and over a period of time, it's going to make the situation even more worse. So let's not be greedy and lose all the confidence. Instead, let's only stick to applying to relevant jobs. Comment guilty if you have done this in the past. The second mistake is your resume is very generic and is not really compelling. It could be very basic. So since you are applying to an employer, you need to make sure that your resume doesn't look like a document which has come straight out of a high school or the college. Second reason could be your resume is more than one page. So unless you are an Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg, your resume may not be long. Nobody has time to sit and read each and every sentence in that resume. You essentially have just five seconds. In those five seconds, you need to get into the recruiter's heart. The recruiter should feel that, yes, this is the right candidate. And for that, it's important that you don't mention a lot of information because a lot of information will definitely cause a lot of distraction and the recruiter will not be able to make a decision in your favor. Third is, it does not showcase your skills. So your resume isn't probably selling you as the best professional that you are. 
This could be because you have not mentioned your accomplishments. You don't have numbers in your resume, facts or figures, which basically quantifies the results. So resume writing is actually an art and you need to take some time, make efforts to write a compelling resume. You can check out this video on how to create a compelling resume to learn more about this. Fourth point could be your resume is not focused. So you could be all over the place. For example, if you have mentioned that you have worked for an NGO, which works for waste management, then you have worked also for a startup company for their finance sort of requirements. And then you have worked for another company for their software requirements. You might feel that the recruiter will think that, okay, this person has a lot of skills that he has worked in different roles and different companies. But essentially what the recruiter will feel is this person is pretty confused and lacks clarity and doesn't know what he actually likes. And they might also feel that you take up every opportunity that pops up, which is definitely not a cool thing. So your resume should not have a lot of distractions. Check out this video to understand what you should not be writing in your resume. Fifth point could be that your resume is not tailored. By this, what I am trying to say is for every job description, you need to tailor your resume. You need to have those keywords, those skill sets, which are written in that particular JD. Another very important thing is double check your contact section. Sometimes I, because I have received resumes with wrong email IDs and wrong phone numbers. So make sure that your contact section is updated and it's correct. Third mistake, your career summary requires your attention. So this is your elevator pitch. It's just that you do not have 60 seconds to sell, but just five seconds. And this is probably the very first thing that is there on your resume. And it's important that it is doing its job. It's important that when somebody is reading through your career summary, they get an idea as to what you actually are. You need to quantify your experience in two to three bullet points, mentioning your skills, accomplishments, and if you can add numbers, nothing like it. A cool tip here is to pick up a few words from the JD and add it right in the career summary as well. Fourth mistake is your LinkedIn profile is not optimized enough. You need to have everything up to date in your LinkedIn profile and be super active on it. So if the recruiter checks your profile out, it should not give him a feeling of that inactivity since a very long time. Make sure that every box in this checklist is ticked. That is, you have a professional DB, you have a relevant headline, you have your about me section, then your skills, your work experience, all of this written in detailed manner. Also start working on building the right network. You can check out this video to get more insights on these tips and tricks. Fifth mistake is your resume is not clearing the ATS, that is applicant tracking system. So this is a bot which actually scans through your resume and sees whether this person is a right candidate or not. So only if you clear the ATS, then you actually land into a human being's hand. Check out this video to understand how to beat the ATS. As promised, here's your bonus tip. Keep a close look and apply to the job posts as soon as it is up on LinkedIn. Sometimes what happens is the recruiter finds very good candidates in the initial 20 applicants. And after that, from the 21st applicant, he does not even look at the resumes that he's receiving. So it's very important that you are ahead of the lot and getting into the hands of recruiter as soon as possible. Be an early bird to get that offer. If you like the content so far, hit the like button. With that, we come to an end to this video. 
and do let me know in the comments below what would you like to see more on this channel share this content with your friends who might find it useful i'll also link my crack your dream job playlist here in this you're going to find tips and tricks to excel at each stage towards getting your dream job don't forget to check that out thank you so much for watching this video till the end it's me atulya nair signing off ciao